up guys, BlackBerryFV here, and today I want to do a little like troubleshooting video. And I was flying my Baby Hark R and completely lost video, completely lost power and everything. So I wanted to show you a little clip uh, real quick of exactly what happened. And then right after that we'll go up ahead and talk about how it, what was actually the issue. Um, so I was doing some orbits really quick around myself. I kind of cut them out a little bit to save some time. Then I come around this tree, and right here I do a really snap roll, and then I just lost completely complete video, crashes into the ground, and then you see the beta flight Emacs symbol again. So we know that we got a complete power failure. And I was trying to figure out what exactly this was, uh, but I really couldn't figure it out right away because I plugged the battery in, plugged in, it worked. And then I flew it again, it did it again, and then I took it out, plugged it back in, and then kind of noticed that the plug was kind of loose. So this video is going to be about how to fix an XT60, or in this case an XT30, uh, that, you know, instead of replacing the entire XT30 or XT60, we can go ahead and just maybe bend those pins around a little bit, bit in there and see how it, and see how much better of a grip it got on the actual cable and connector. So I've seen a lot of people um, asking these in the forums, you know, it's loose, how, what can I do? So I figured, let's make a video about it, help some guys out. So let's go to the bench. All right guys, so we're at the bench and pretty much wanted to show you this really easy fix for how to fix the XT30 or the XT60 plug when it does become loose. As I'll show you an example on air I was talking about earlier is plug it in and it's pretty loose I mean you can you don't even have to like put any force on it at all see it looks wiggling right there and it's gonna come off see like watch let's see if I can do it no of course it doesn't want to do it but and it's pretty loose in there though so with these XT30s you really can't get a toothpick in there and what you would do with the XT60, which I'll show you in a second too if you're having this problem, is you'll just kind of stick it in the hole right there. But since this is so small, what I recommend to use is probably like an X-Acto knife, but be very careful. And get your, um, just kind of put a little bit of pressure, and you just want to bend one of those little tabs. Just a little tiny bit. See, I just did it a little bit. If you go too far, it will just break off. Like it has a point to where resistance and then it just snaps off. This avoids you having to replace your XT30s or XT60s. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And then we'll check it. That's still kind of loose, so let's do it again. And this time I'll probably put a little bit more force. So that, like I said, it will snap if you're too aggressive with it like, like that I just did it so that's what you don't want to do and I just broke that one off but not the end of all be all you can just go ahead and take it bend it a little tiny bit and it'll still hold just fine just doesn't have that one prong alright so now we got it bent now that's much tighter. See now like I'm plugging on it and it's not coming off. So well, I'm gonna do the other side a little bit more. Which is really just messing with these prongs in here. The XT30 th uh, XT60 is a little easier to do. You gotta be really careful because like I said, you go a little too far and it snaps right off. Yeah, that's much better now. That's nice and tight. See, now it's not popping off. So, that's the XT30. So, let's go ahead and show you an XT60 really quick. Show you a little trick with the toothpick. If I can find one. Should I already had one out, shouldn't I? There we go. So, this is a XT30. And then, I'm um, XT60. And over time... See how like a little space in there, a little hole? That will actually start closing up 
do the impacts, ejecting the battery or whatnot. So when that starts closing up, you just take a toothpick and you just shove it in there and then you just snap it off and it will stretch those out just enough to where you have that tight connection again. So that's a little quick tip for you regarding uh, what happened with the baby hawk to me because you know, like I said, I was flying it around and then all of a sudden it, I had a crash and it did eject the battery and then I started flying around again and then all of a sudden it just flipped it and then it just kind of took a dive and then restarted. So, but hope you found this video useful. Um, appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.